Hello everyone, you are watching a segment of the countdown program from February 5, 2024. Today is Monday, watch all of our videos on Patreon, and thanks to everyone who is becoming our patrons right now. I'll talk about the topics of the postscript later, but now about the most important thing. On Sunday evening, an interview with Vladimir Zelensky was released, which he gave to the Italian television company Rai1. The president of Ukraine confirmed that he is thinking about replacing the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine Valery Zaluzny. Zaluzny, we need a reset, a change of leadership, not just the military one. This is a question that concerns the people who should lead Ukraine. A reboot, a new beginning is definitely needed. When we talk about this, I mean the rotation of a whole range of government leaders, not just in one sector such as the military. That's why I'm talking about a reset, about a replacement, I mean something serious that concerns more than one person, and the direction of the country's leadership. At the same time, Zelensky did not specify whether he had made specific personnel decisions at the moment. Also the day before, Zelensky arrived in the village of Rabatino, Zaporozhye region, where he visited the location of the 65th Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. I talked with the defenders, thanked them and presented them with state awards. It's an honor to be here today. Support the warriors and reward them. On their shoulders is a difficult, decisive mission to push back the enemy and protect Ukraine, Zelensky wrote. And this is a strong move by the president of Ukraine precisely as commander-in-chief. It is impossible to imagine that the cowardly Putin would appear, for example, in the Avdivka area. He snuck around to Mariupol at night, and it's not clear, it was himself or his double transitioner. Commenting on the situation at the front, Zelensky described it as a stalemate. This is a fact, he emphasized, because there were delays with the equipment, and delays mean errors. We are fighting against terrorists who have one of the largest armies in the world, there is not enough ammunition, but we need modern technical means, end of quote. Meanwhile, the Russians continue to massively shell Ukrainian populated areas. Only in the Kharkov region, during the course of 24 hours, the Russians fiercely attacked Malaya Volcha, Ustinovka, Domyshny, Kolodesny, Sinkovka, Petropavlovka, Kucherovka, Ivanovka, Pesheny and other settlements. The Ukrainian journalist Saplienko reported the day before about the critical situation in Avdivka, the fate of which is being decided these days, the racists have gained a foothold in the building. Their attack aircraft entered the city from the Avdevsky quarry, and that there are hundreds of meters left to the main logistics artery of the Ukrainian defenders. Become our patrons right now and look further in this program. In an interview with Fox, former President Donald Trump again criticized Biden, saying that Biden's foreign policy could lead the world to World War III within the next nine months. In Great Britain, a strict revision of previous views on the country's combat readiness continues. Conclusion, the army is not ready either morally or technically. In the Pamphilov Pawn Arms House, they checked the signatures collected for Boris Nadezhdin. And they found their quality terrible. Watch in the program, Postscript. Sources close to the Kremlin claim that immediately after Pankov Day, Roskomnadze may receive new powers in order to exclude the public's access to negative information about Russia disseminated by the West. Yandex is moving into a cave that is preparing to transform the internet into Chibernet. The Grammy Award for Best Album of the Year went to American singer Taylor Swift, whose popularity is so high that it can influence the course of the presidential campaign. Some conspiracy theorists have already accused her of witchcraft and secret work for the Pentagon. And that is all. View all of our programs on the Patreon resource. And thanks to everyone who is becoming our patrons right now. Hugs to everyone. See you on Thursday. Glory to Ukraine.